Excel has long been a sore topic for people working in analytics. Is Excel still relevant for data analytics? Or is it a dying tool that we should avoid using at all costs? Hi, I'm Jen. I help people build analytic skills and careers with new videos every week. Check out the description for additional resources. There's no getting around the widespread use of Excel for data analytics. Not everyone is happy about this though. You might even have the opinion that Excel spreadsheets are outdated, that analysts, data scientists really shouldn't be using Excel. They should be using a programming language or at least an analysis or visualization tool like Tableau or Power BI. Spreadsheets are just too manual and there's many much better software applications. I think there's still huge relevance of Excel for data analytics though. I can already picture the comments section, so let me clear this up before you go down there and comment, she has no idea what she's talking about, or, but Jen, Python would be better. If you've watched any of my videos, it should be extremely clear by now that I'm not saying Excel is a better solution than these other options in every case. I don't think that there is a one size fits all solution for solving all our data analytics problems. We should take all of the different tools that are at our disposal and leverage them when it makes the most sense to leverage them. Here, I just want to make a case that Excel still has relevance within this context. Excel isn't the only, the best, the most fitting solution to every analytics problem, but this doesn't mean we should banish it completely. Here are five reasons I think Excel is still relevant for data analytics and why I think you should know it well if you're going to be working in analytics. The first reason is that it's easy to look through your data. Yes, you can look through your data no matter what tool you're using or what programming language that you're using, but it's rarely as easy to look through your data as it is in Excel, especially if you're dealing with smaller data sets. The structure of Excel of putting different information into individual cells, easily sorting and filtering and aggregating your information, it's just hard to beat. The second reason you should learn Excel, it's cheap and easy to learn. Everybody has access to some sort of spreadsheet software. Most of us have access to Excel, but even if you're not paying for Excel or getting a free version somehow, there are many, many different spreadsheet applications which function very similarly to Excel. There's a lot of supporting documentation and solutions on how to do things in Excel. Working in Excel teaches you to work in a very structured way. The logic that you learn in executing work within an Excel spreadsheet is logic that you can easily carry over to other applications or even programming languages. Learning to write complex formulas in Excel isn't so different from the more complex analysis that you'll do within Python, R, SAS, or whatever programming language that you choose to use. Pivot tables teach you about summarization and aggregation, which are things that you're going to do all the time in any application that you use. You're rarely going to be looking exclusively at individual data points. You're often, though, going to want to aggregate. Building graphs in Excel teaches you how to visually share information and communicate in meaningful ways what your data is saying. The third reason to learn Excel is other people understand it. It's really easy to share information in spreadsheets with other people. If you're working with smaller amounts of data or data that other less technically skilled people will need to be able to explore, a spreadsheet can be a great way to go. Reason number four, Excel can help you create a great plan for your analysis. I personally like to map out my plan for analysis most of the time before I start doing work. The technical part is rarely the most complex part of doing any analytics work or any analytics project. It's the logic that you're going to use. What are you going to tell the tools to do? What information do you need? How does it need to be organized? What's important in the findings that you have? Who are you communicating it with? All of these are easy to map out in Excel and quickly document versus jumping into the middle of your analysis, often finding that you might have to backtrack or change up tactics. It can save a lot of time to just map things out a little bit in advance before you start jumping into doing the active work. 
Reason five, Excel can work as a great data source for importing information into another application. You can easily incorporate supplemental information that you've documented in Excel into other analysis projects. It's an easy communication gateway because it doesn't always require you to get access to a new system or application to get a new data set that might not be contained in the environment that you're working. Because of this, it's common to share disparate information from multiple different systems or legacy systems in this way until this data is included in a more structured environment. Even at more established companies that have a better presence, a better documentation system, and a better established analytics system, it's not terribly uncommon for small groups within the organization or niche departments to have certain information stored in a more manual way like this. Because of this, you need to be able to understand the spreadsheets and be able to import them for work in other applications for when Excel might not be the best tool for you to actually do the analysis in. Those are five reasons I think Excel is still extremely relevant for data analytics. What do you think? Agree? Disagree? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing and sharing it. Thanks so much for watching.